When two worlds collide, am I right? You likely have heard of the upcoming Godzilla vs. King Kong film that has started trending as of late, and like many others, I'm excited to relive my childhood. I remember watching both films as a kid and also playing a game, I think I think it was on Xbox, where you played as Godzilla and fought other monsters such as Mothra and the uh, Mechagodzilla. It's just so much fun. So when the news broke of this monster match between two of the biggest and scariest going head to head in 2021, with all the new CGI and effects they have now, of course it's gonna be a fun time. And of course there was the original film titled the same released in 1962, but this one isn't a remake as much as it is the same idea within the new monster universe they've created. Today on LBQ we're asking what if King Kong fought Godzilla? Smash that like button and I will say answers may vary from what the movie shows, who knows. All right, so in one corner we got King Kong. He's a massive ape, we're talking about 100 feet plus, at least according to the most recent film Kong Skull Island. He's big, he's strong, and he's ruthless. It takes a lot to get this beast down. But there is one monster who may be up to the task. In the other corner, we got Godzilla, standing anywhere from a couple hundred feet to almost a thousand feet tall depending on which film or media we refer to. This monster has the ability to live on land or underwater. Aside from this, Godzilla has a fire breath of sorts, which is really an atomic breath and much more destructive than fire. He's also incredibly durable, and although not indestructible, some may seem to think so. And given that we're going with the most recent Kong film to size up the big old ape, let's keep it the same monster universe, which means Godzilla, according to the recent film Godzilla King of the Monsters, stands at 393 feet tall. It was the film prior Godzilla Planet of the Monsters that saw him at 984 feet, for some reason. <laughs> However, this is not a part of the previously mentioned monster universe. So these two face off, and the real easy answer is that Godzilla absolutely beats the <laughs> out of King Kong. Kills him. Dead. Easy. No problems at all. He's triple Kong size. I'm not sure what damage Kong can really do to Godzilla. However, for some reason in the trailer, they appear to be relatively evenly sized, in regards to height at least. So we'll go along with this narrative that both these monsters are the same size and decide to fight, so they're the last two warriors left from an ancient war. Of course, they're both fighting for different teams, which means ultimately only one can remain, crowning the victor of the battle and war. So these two go head to head. Who wins? Well, that all depends on where this happens. Of course, as per the movie's trailer, it shows the two of them fighting both on land and water. I think the realistic and safe bet is to say that if these two fought in the water, Godzilla would likely win fairly easily. Given his speed advantage, as well as being able to breathe underwater, something obviously Kong can't do, it seems Godzilla would have too many advantages to easily give him a win in this battle. However, if the two fought on land, well that's a different story. Not to say by any means that it's a walk in the park for Kong, because it certainly would not be. In fact, I can't even say for sure who would win the battle of these two on land, as it depends on a lot of variables. Who gets hit first? Who has the better abilities? Although again, it seems Godzilla wins there. But Kong is incredibly strong, and like an ape, not easy to take down at all. Specifically referencing the atomic breath, it seems in the previous Godzilla vs. King Kong film from 1962, Kong was somewhat resistant, although it was noted a direct blast could kill him. Much like Godzilla, Kong is incredibly durable and smart, quickly figuring out his opponent's weakness and attacking. As previously mentioned, numerous factors and variables go into deciding who wins this one, and although I've always liked Kong over Godzilla, it seems Godzilla would inevitably win this one, simply due to the fact that he is less likely to worry about his surrounding environment. As we've seen with Kong in the films, he's not so aggressive, and is actually somewhat gentle to those who aren't trying to bring him harm. With this in mind, it's more likely than not that Kong finds himself somewhat compromised, trying not to injure any innocent civilians around him. Maybe he doesn't think twice about the people and just focuses on the giant monster trying to kill him. I really can't say for sure, guys. What I can say for sure is that if these two were to go at it, wherever that battle would take place, well, it would be completely destroyed. It would seem almost as if an entire war had broken out. Assuming that every time these two strike each other and one falls, craters form in the streets. Uh, obviously surrounding buildings and properties would be completely wrecked and potentially used as a form of weapon. The monsters could either use the buildings as a blunt object or throw their opponent into them. Surely this would cause earthquakes of insane magnitude to affect the surrounding areas of wherever this fight were to take place. And if there were large bodies of water nearby, that likely means tsunamis would form as well. Bundle all of the unnaturally caused natural disasters along with these two hundred foot monsters beating each other up and you got yourselves a completely destroyed city. Likely country, because they're pretty big. I'm sure they would go like across the whole country. Really depends where the fight happens. All in all guys, it's no good. That's safe to say. Now as always, let me know your thoughts on this one down below and who you think would win the battle of these two. For now, let's provide some comments from the video. Ryan Garcia versus Manny Pacquiao. Who will win? C said Ryan is flat footed so he kind of doesn't really have a chance against Manny. I wouldn't say he doesn't have a chance, but like Manny is a Hall of Famer, he is one of the best boxers, so I, I, I'm gonna say Manny probably wins. LB2 Scope said, they said Luke Campbell would be his first challenge, and he was. He knocked Ryan down, he got a good shot on Ryan, and Ryan proved that he could get back up, so it was a challenge. 
Nene said, Ryan is who I'm gonna root for because he grew up where I lived, but I honestly think he should wait. He's not on that level yet. Who let this happen? Damn. Money talks, I guess? I don't know. Like, Garcia's an up and coming name. You know, he, he always wanted to fight Pacquiao. It's an exhibition, so it won't even go against his record if he loses. So why wouldn't he do it? Like, it, it's like, I'm trying to think of the equivalent as an actor. It's almost like, I guess, if I, if I got the opportunity to star in, or to, to star alongside one of my favorite actors, but then all my movie parts got cut out. Like it would suck, but I still get to experience acting next to my favorite actor, and that's all I really care about, right? So hopefully that made sense. Probably not. Anyways, guys, that's all for this one. We'll see you soon.